and welcome to One Way, where we go one way, and that's west. You can see we are set up to cross over the 5,800,000 area, or the 5,800 kilometer block. And we are not moving. Oh, there we go. We have to go in the ocean first. Anyway, usual stuff. This is a all done on a phone, you might hear calling and scratching noise to make certain maneuvers happen. Otherwise, it's held at a wide stance to try to avoid that. However, it comes at the cost of accuracy, such as walking into pits of death, buildings, trees, or waterways of death. That's another thing that's happened. And you get to hear me complain about the game not responding to commands, because as I was playing the uh, Windows 10 version, if you haven't I have not done a 50th birthday world video in almost a year and a half, maybe two. And it's not because I don't care, it's because I had giant projects and I broke in with one project and that was the year and a half or so ago. The Shroompire Block Building, which is a scaled down version of the Empire State Building to fit within the world and grow giant mushrooms. And the other big thing that's been in the way was turning a relatively large swamp into a, an airport to do elytra flying. Which we kind of need wings to do that kind of thing, which I don't have, but preparing for it. So that's another mammoth project that was in the way. Plus there were other things I was trying to do that would be boring, like trying to find... Uh, You know, one of those ancient cities, which, unsuccessful. And, you know, those big ancient underground cities, the name's slipping my mind right now. But, anyway, for those of you that are a regular, you know, both of you, you can tell this is washer-dryer phase. It was a very short week. We had... Only a three-day work week because here in the United States, we celebrate the 4th of July, which celebra you know, celebrating our f freedom, breaking away from what was then the evil country of England, which is anything but evil now. So, yeah... And they typically when there's a big holiday like this they don't bother opening on the weekends as a reward although with the pay structure and how much it costs to live in the state of Massachusetts it's more of a punishment because I'm losing a lot of money and I'm still coming out ahead and there's the stutters that I've been missing and I'm not sure where that body of water is going so Thank you for missing the very spot that I wanted to go. However, it was so minor. Whatever. Jump. Yeah, that was a pit of death. And stupid me. Putting trust that the jump button would actually work like it didn't right there. Which meant I would have died if it didn't where that pit was. And once again, I hit it and it didn't do anything. thought maybe it's just the phone, but I've noticed, as I was about to say, uh, Windows 10 seems to ignore commands, too. Like, it's ridiculously hard to get out of swimming mode when I'm swimming. Used to be I could just, you know, just press jump and get out of swimming mode, but that don't seem to be a thing anymore. That time I just flat out missed the button. Can't blame the game for that. And we kind of need to be on the left, so let's go for another sheet. And we're just trying to, uh, we're at 59. We're getting pretty close. I want to get 63 wool. 
That way, if we run into a severe uh, village shortage, which those are feast or famine, that we will have enough wool to make quite a few beds, although we would have to stop and get more wood to make said beds. We need to find some emeralds so we can trade with the farmers. All right, a little more this way. Speaking of village, there's nice jump. Let's try this again. This time, when I press the jump button, jump happens. Call it a stupid idea, but I like it. There we go. Is it enough? Yeah, it is. I really do not like the way some of the mechanics work now, but... Oh, that was just poor. That was just poor. Can't blame the game on that one. I am refusing to turn the render distance down much further because it seems now the stutter is pretty much whatever is in front of us. Isn't it funny that when a phone's about to be paid off, that's when it starts to act like uh, it needs to be replaced? Although, I'm, it's while this is a major pain, it's not pain enough, painful enough. Pain is how to describe it. A turn. Well, we went way further than I wanted because that's how the game works. And we got enough beds. There we go. Oh, wait. Yep, yeah, that's kind of the thing that I was... We'll trade away this crap that we don't need and get that stuff that we do need and swap these out after getting what's there and how about the door? The thing I actually was aiming for. Now we just need to find a farmer and we can move the player. Oh, looky there. Let's... No, I want chest. I was aiming for chest. Nothing there. Hopefully that makes up for things. In a way, I'm glad that the... The Iron Golem seems to be uh, not caring much about hurting the villagers. Because with the precision that we have, which is almost non-existent out this far, and looks like the sun is setting, so we're going to take a free bed. Well, not going to take a bed, but what we're going to do is go to that outer hut and can turn. When it gets dark, we'll use this bed as our freebie, which means we don't use any of the ones that we have taken. And I could have gotten rid of something else there that shouldn't exist. All right, so we're a little more than 6,500 blocks away from the 5,800 kilometer block. So, I mean, the 4th of July for me was uneventful. I mean, I'm trying to fix up the house I'm living in. There we go. What I wanted to do was put up paintable wallpaper and make the walls look a little less... Uh, A little less bumpy because 
there's wood paneling and I'm not talking the you know the landlord's best friend I'm talking actual knotty pine paneling with actual boards actual grooves it's just too much of it I mean I like the house I mean that's why I bought it in spite of all the problems that it has which over time I'm knocking out one by one and that time I pressed jump and nothing happened because that's how it works there is no escaping this hill but it's not a really bad hill line myself up to this okay then we lose our joystick And we get out of the water. This really did nothing. Uh, we kind of need to move anyway. I mean, we're going to move, but kind of need some dirt blocks. Actually, that should work. So now we can magically select those. Not what I wanted. But we can do this. Which actually is not going to help us. So we're going to do this. Now we have land that'll help us. All right, up here. And now that the sputtering issue is gone, it's a lot easier, it doesn't always work, but it's a lot easier when I literally jump start my forward advancement that I can clear a two block gap like this if we can stay on top like that. It was nearly impossible when we had the sputter issue. In fact, it actually was impossible. Uh, now, now we're going to play the uncooperative game. Because... Yep. And my finger drifted. Can't say the thing was ignoring the jump button. We cannot make this two block gap. We can now. Oh, looks like we got some water. So that we might be able to avoid that. And the nice thing about not being not having sputter is that you can see we can move down without having to jump, which was a problem. I had to with the sputtering I would have to jump in order to move forward going downhill. Which meant we had to take quite a few leaps of faith. And I mean, some pretty bad leaps of faith. Somewhere it was contemplating, are we going to have only a couple of hearts left after landing? Starting with a perfect health meter. And over in, how about the two block wide spot? There we go, the one I want. See, this is why that's important. And that broke, which that is in the wrong position. But that's okay. It's not going to matter too much right now. And the reason I put the, uh, well, let's get rid of this first. The reason that I like to put the, let's move that, move that, and move that. Put this under my feet because of the precision is I don't want, actually let's, yep, press the button. And one sword. And while we have the, uh,
press. Alright. Let's give a slightly better chance of living. Alright, so this, that goes away and that goes on. We could always get more of those. It's it's in the way. It's inventory. It's inventory slots we need. It's not gonna go in that slot, but yeah, when I break boats or break that, I'd like to try and be aligned with it. And village, but is it worth looking at? Nope, this is what we call a project village, which means it's a massive project to get to. Those I don't care to see. If I were in dire straits, bad situation, not the band, because... Funny joke I used to tell when I was in high school, because... Back in the day! When metal was king and rap was crap. Although the 80s stuff was kind of cheesy, but at least it was, uh, at least rap back then was more fun and uh, kind of cheesy like hair metal. Well, back then it was called glam metal, because everybody, literally the whole thing is, make music and look as pretty as possible. Literally, look like a girl. But anyway, yeah, back then it was cheesy as all hell. You listen to it now, and it reeks of cheese, but it was all, all in fun and good, you know, good spirits, and... I don't mind that stuff. It's when it went started going down the toilet, I know, in popular opinion at this point. When uh, this little unknown new rapper, well, new to the scene, this, well, you know, he's grown up and changed a lot, but, yeah, back in the day, this hoodlum, derelict, scumbag, well, let's just say what it is, named Snoop Dogg came around. Well, Snoop Doggy Dog at the time. Yeah, promoting, uh, promoting street gangs, guns, and violence. And that's when a lot of people like myself, yeah, at the time, wasn't big into music anyway. But a bunch of us would say, it, there was a saying that went around, which was, I pressed the jump button, literally. I mean, I mean you saw it lit, lit up there. Anyway. I'm sure you've heard the old saying, and it was kind of popular in high school, and that was the sea and rap is silent. And like I said, the 80s cheese, yeah, I mean, yeah, even then it sounded kind of odd. And then there were very, very variations that were kind of yeah, it's kind of heading towards gangsta drug dealer crap even though it was trying I mean I'm literally pressing the button and it's not doing a damn thing and whoa and that would be a good time for it to do nothing if I pressed it
I mean, I know there's some exceptions to the rule, but that's when... Although I secretly liked... Secretly liked... Uh, and I'd never dare to say that... Uh, what, what metal bands I liked, because... <laughs> I had a sister that made my life a living hell. As I was friends with certain people that were not the up and up, but we also had an agreement that it that it was just you know various you know if you needed help on Nintendo games when I used to be good at that kind of stuff. So of course, if I mentioned anything that I liked, she would probably go to my parents and my mother. Quite religious. I mean, not religious whack job religious, but religious in a normal sane sense. If I mentioned any of the bands I liked, I'm sure she would go, you know, they worship Satan. And yeah, that's a thing I don't didn't need. I just kept quiet. Plus, if I liked anything normal people did, she'd make it out like it was the biggest headline in world news history. Like, as if, like, in the news today, and we're talking back then, so... A terrorist faction blew up 100 buses today, killing tens of thousands. But our top story is George F551, although my real name then, because AOL wasn't a thing. But George F551 actually likes... actually likes a metal band. Yeah, I don't, I don't want the attention, because that was kind of the thing, is I didn't like too many things that were popular but I did like some and some I would actually keep quiet because yeah my sister was one of the problems well you know that was then when we were kids and kids are stupid and stuff like that <laughs> so I mean whatever doesn't matter anymore Come on, jump button. Yeah, I need to pay attention to that number. Can we get... Oh, there's a... And we're pressing the jump button that we're ignoring. So like I said, you get to hear me compl... Uh, you know, moan about that not working. Nothing! But if we jump over this way and break this thing, hopefully not a now we can grab that. Oh that's why. We have a stick, we're pressing a button. And there we get rid of the stick. Now we can break that down and we can make two more of these things. Like I say, I like to try to stay on top of it because of the precision. And the fact that the game likes to... Uh, Stuff likes to disappear in the through the world because of the precision. That if something does not land on an exact half block increment, the item being less than a half block in all dimensions will fall through the world. So we don't want the table to fall through the world. And that's why we stand on the boat because we don't want that falling through the world because the entity is too small. The boat in full form, obviously not. 
Come on, jump. I was also painting today, putting primer on the walls. I'm wondering if I got primer. Let me just stop and look for a second. Yeah, there's a little primer on my thing, thumb. It might, it might have, and we're going the wrong way. All right, less than 4,000 to go. Yeah, downhill was a major pain. I like to try to jump if it's, uh, if any downhill slope is usually no more than two blocks. I mean, sometimes we'll go a little more and take a little bit of Dave, you know, do a little bit of Dave Grohling. Try to move things along. There's a Dave Grohl right there. Yeah, this time I probably should actually hit the jump button if I wanted to jump. I also, when I hit the water, I try to jump out as far as I can just to gain a little more, just to gain a little more distance. Doesn't seem like a lot, but it adds up. I see the sun. I see a monument that I want nothing to do with. Are we going to have to... Oh, I see land. It had to be mountains. Yay. Oh, look at that. Less than... T I was going to say less than 2,000. We're now practically at 1,800 blocks away. the story goes in this world it's 
Yep, you made your objective. Congratulations. Now suffer through not successfully uh, going any further with any with any ease whatsoever. And that because I can. because we can and yikes we don't have a good way up this is not where I wanted Although we're supposed to be able to stand on the boats, it doesn't always seem to happen. It's not the biggest deal on the planet, so I mean, whatever. And turn! Might have been good that we didn't make that. Uh, a little more this way, perhaps. Yeah, that was less than two blocks, so there's no way we could have made that cave there. So we want to not be in that position. All right, we got a path on the left. Um, could it, well, it's hard to... From an initial go, we could make that. to continue too much further this way because uh, point that we can jump there we go how about uh, do we need to move one more no we don't we can jump now when I press the jump button dirt is what we want break. Alright, we do have an area where we can, as I do it, jump over. Again, I'm just looking over. We got ocean, so definitely want to head towards that. However, I do not like the pit that is appearing below that. Here we go. This said, used to be such a... Oh, good. A pain to go down. Because we'd have to jump. And sometimes those jumps are pretty long. Thank God they fixed the ability to move forward. Because... It would be stupid enough to be 5.8 million blocks out from the center of the world. Who would be dumb enough to do that? Oh, yeah. Anyway. 
Let's get around this mountain if it's going to let us get around it. Because I'd like to go around it and not have to deal with it. So we can move. I don't care if there's land, I just don't want mountains. And if I go up a long winded hill, I mean, that's kind of a different story because usually hills are manageable. The only thing that stinks about how rain works in, in uh, Bedrock is the thunderstorm is a broken thing. Like, is this a thunderstorm? Because it used to be very dark black clouds meant thunderstorm. Are we... Okay, that's lava. I was wondering if the sun was all of a sudden setting because... I'd like to go that way, but there's mountains, which I don't want. Then we can move the player. Because almost one of the uh, rain shower skies actually acts as the thunderstorm now. The real thunderstorm only appears when you load a game and I guess it's raining but it's actually not really a thunderstorm. And it also sounds like the washer is done and we can move the player. We're, now we're starting that crap. And we're moving the player. I like when I move the player and the play and the game does that. It's the best. All right, so it has stopped and we are very close to getting to our goal, which we can break. Oh, of course. Come on. How about over here? How about over here? I just want to finish. I just want to get the job done. All right, we are getting towards the ocean, but we're going to put the boat short of it. This is why I haven't started dryer phase quite yet, because... I'm going to put a block here. I'm going to place the boat this way, this way, this way. Yep. Perfect. Right where we want it. So we can... We can drag ourselves out because we have a minimum speed east and west that we cannot do on land. And we park on land because we don't want to fall through the world and die if we're not on an exact half block increment. So that being said, and 625 blocks to go before 5800, it's time to go to dryer phase. And we are back. But I forgot to show you, and I usually do this every time, but I was in a rush, is when I purge the world, I show you that I purged it. It was getting into the 900 megabytes. So it is now a little over 120, almost 100, well now it's definitely over 121 megabytes. It used to be when I purged it, it would be really low, like 30 or 40 or so. But we're so far out at this point. If we were to, say, actually make it to the ultimate goal, yeah, I'm sure that's going to happen, is, okay, that's not going to work, is that the Purged Worlds will start at about 300 megabytes. Now, if I can figure out the... Oh, did you really have to be there? You stupid dolphin. Again, fortunately, we can stand on the 
we can stand on the boats because we would we used to just sink and then I'd wind up hitting the dolphin and not the uh, not the boat and I don't want to hit the dolphins what did a dolphin do to deserve getting hit for no reason whatsoever and jump 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 that time I was stupid I'm just gonna stop right here, place a bed and sleep. turn the boat up this far. Uh, actually, yeah, this will be fine. Actually, it wasn't fine. They both fell through the world. There's a trader, which likely wouldn't do us any good anyway. Alright, I mean, we're not in desperate need of stuff, so... Anyway, we could use a few beds. Okay, that hut will do us no good. Yeah, we're not going to have a full complement of beds. In fact, we're probably just getting one. Oh yeah, we have to face through the door. Any east and western doors, we just literally will just run right through. Poops and giggles, what did you have? How about joystick? You have nothing I want anyway. Alright, so yeah, we did. Oh, and uh, yeah, we made it. And I was too busy paying attention to getting to the village to notice that we have crossed over the 5,800 kilometer block. Less than 200, less than 200k to go, and we'll be in the six million block uh, region. I mean, it's going to be around, and of course the turning is so slow. It's going to be what, somewhere around 8.3 million and change. Like I say, when we get close, that's when I look up the exact number and state the exact number, but somewhere around 8.3 million is the next, the next phase where it's one block accuracy, and that means I have to figure out a way to move, and I have some ways to go about it. It may be a ridiculously slow thing, and it's going to be all for nothing. All or nothing. Ooh. 
Oh, good. We actually landed in the gap that we wanted. Alright. Then this way, then this way. I'm not going to be able to get out of it that way. And it's not going to matter much, so... Nope, not here. And we can break. And we can break. quite a few times. As boring as oceans can be, it's the second fastest way of getting around. It might even be the fastest because overall with all the icebergs in the way, the frozen oceans tend to actually stall progress going around going around the minefield known as the glaciers or icebergs. Uh, some of them are practically glaciers. But then there's times we get the big rivers and the lakes where it definitely is the fastest way. Remember, building the nether network is counterintuitive because we're trying to get to from point A to as close to point B, liking to get to actual point B as quick as possible. And that building the ice thingy, whatever, ice route in the nether is counterintuitive because then we'd have to stop and get ice. go out, get more ice, build the road, which, okay, we can get out now. And this as much as we can, just keep it moving. And, it'll, and we'll get to our objective or ultimate failure, which is more likely, faster. Well, that was actually a good run there. Ay, 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 that was not good timing. Sometimes I think I can make a jump and don't. I probably just jumped across a pit of death again. Placement among the unfrozen water is still questionable. Sometimes I point way out and it'll place it. Usually, actually, if I point way out, it'll place it pretty much at my feet. But then there's times it'll place it out of reach. Which, it works better on the ice because if I put it near my feet, the boat will be placed near my feet. And if I stretch out like I normally do 
here in the unfrozen variant of water, it'll be placed way out if I point way out. And nearby, if it's close, and speaking of close, there's a village. Let's see if we can get a free bed out of this. And how about out of the ocean and moving forward? This is our freebie house. Yeah, we don't need any more of that stuff. Got plenty of apples. All right, I was gonna stay facing that way so that the odds of hitting the villager by accident is lessened, but he's far enough over that non-issue. around and grab beds while we're at it. Doors facing north and south. We, we can move the player. We can open. The only bad thing about villages is that Okay, we can move the player, is that it stalls progress, but kind of important. This is where we get our beds. How about we check our inventory? Good enough. Okay, that's not going to help us. All right, but what we can do is go over here, and that will. And we're pressing the buttons, said the sheep. How about stick? How about more than one position? How about more than one position? There we go. All right, nothing there, but sheep here. We'll just move over one. There we go. How about stick? Game doesn't like to uh, 61. Sixty-two. All right, we're one away from an ideal number. Then we won't have to kill sheep for a while till we need to replenish. And how about jump? How about jump? I'm pressing the button. We should try jumping. That was a pretty decent run. So anyway, I was getting to the point that I was saying it's pretty uneventful 4th of July. I was just fixing up the house. I wanted to fill in the grooves, as I was saying, to actual naughty pine paneling because there's just too much of it. I think it's starting to fall out of favor again anyway. So I'm trying to, in several rounds, fill in, fill in the deep grooves of this actual wooden paneling and attempting to make a flat wall, which of course, hey, I'm doing it. So you know that the, uh, the success is kind of 
well, let's just say, if you know what you're looking for, you can see how not how it isn't exactly turning out as ideal as planned. All right, so we got 63. That's perfect. We don't want 64 because that's one extra piece of wool. 63 divides out fairly evenly. How much wood do we have? 49. Let's move the player. Move the player. Move the player. I like it when we move the player. There we go. Moving the player. Imagine that. Uh, we need to... There we go. Normally I would just like to stand on the one block high thing, uh, stump, but as I said, entities, because they're smaller than a half block, they can fall through the world, so if I stand directly underneath them or over them, similar to like how I was just standing. Uh, too many now. Oh well, press. Alright. Not a big deal, we could always sword. How many times do we have to press that? Now we're stuck. Now we're not stuck. Now let's try moving. Dodging the giant hole. Very important. Uh, how about block? I don't waste durability of a tool breaking a block that a normal block can take care of. That's not too bad. No, we can't. It's filling in as we go. Proven wrong many a time. 
as it's filling in again, but it looks like it's a little less, a little less height to it. And again, the rain. I'm not sure if it's re a real thunderstorm or just rain. So I always gotta look, because I'm not 100% sure if it's a thunderstorm or it's just rain. Because the thunderstorms don't work like they're supposed to anymore. So one thing Java definitely has over bedrock is when there's a thunderstorm, you know, because the, the clouds are black and the sky is really dark. That doesn't work like that on, on bedrock anymore. Like I said, the only time you get that doom and gloom sky is if you load in a world is it getting dark okay I'd like to be moving it is okay I'd like to be moving okay quick place Place. There's a reason why we're placing. Wow, game looks to not pay attention. All right, bed. Making sure we're safe. Looks like things did spawn. How about we move the player? Jump. I love it when I press jump and jump happens. That time it just decided to jump on its own. I guess it was trying to be nice. Not realizing that it actually is hurting. to flow in the other direction because what what seems like ins insignificant uh, values in the Z direction when you get to 256 it is enough to actually slightly hinder east and west movement in fact we're about to cross that border now Because, uh, in actuality, the imprecisions start really, really, really early. You just don't see it. I think if you even just go a couple thousand blocks out, if you, say, uh, try to sneak while eating, you can't move because you're under the speed limit. Because right now, east and west... I have to move at least five I have to move at least five blocks per second or or I'm not moving fast enough in which the player will not be able to move and the funny thing is that it seems I'm not 100% sure if it's bedrock as a whole but definitely here on Android it seems when you make the minimum speed, you're actually going double the speed. 
it's to the point that boating and swimming, boating and running is significantly faster. I mean, you can kind of see it when the sword is swinging back and forth when I run north-south versus east-west. You can see that it's the sword's moving way faster than normal, swinging back and forth, and we can jump. Oh, that's a that's something I don't really want. Uh, actually, it probably might have been okay. Oh, Dave grilled it. All uh, right. We are not making terribly much progress. Even though it doesn't seem like we're really hitting major obstacles. It could be just me. And of course, before we got to the half block increment, you could still walk freely in all directions. Just that it was a little slower east-west. In fact, when climbing a hill, your player has to jump twice to clear a block. Now you have to jump in order to move, but you have to be in full sprint Apparently, walking isn't really enough. Because if you walk and jump, you just move one space. Or should I say a half block? Which would be... I guess you would say that would be half a space. Position to the left, please. Thank you. Doesn't really help much, but every little bit is helping. And we're pressing the button. jump, but I, my finger was off. Uh, although that time it wasn't, but it just decided to... Okay, I, I was pushing the jump button. I swear there's a humidity thing with touch screens and it just doesn't want to work. Up oh, now mountains on the... Ah! I don't want to go back there and look. Okay, we can move, we can move, we can move. I think we dodged a bullet back there. All right, that's not gonna help us. Going a little out of our off the uh, axis a wee bit isn't going to hurt us. Uh, Dave grilled it there. It's minor. If we jump when jump is pressed, that helps. I mean, you literally saw the ring was around the jump button. 
and it's refusing. Jump. Alright, which way should we go? That way, or... Neither way is helping. Okay, my point... Yeah, I'm pointing, right? I just... just my finger is off course. Okay, I know I'm, this isn't the worst terrain in the world, but terrain that helps us move, that would be nice. Pressing jump and jump, man, jumps, that actually helps a lot too. Okay, we did stop there intentionally because I did not see... Okay, we cannot move. We can... Break! Break! Oh, now we're getting to the let's get... let's be a pain in the ass phase now. going. Keep going. Now the question is, does this help us? Probably not, because that would be ideal. River that helps a little bit. All right, I guess we get a little help at least. Well, that's all the help we're getting. Again, the terrain's really not horrible. Especially if you press jump and jump happens, then it's not really all that bad. jump actually wasn't necessary. Wound up Dave Grohling. Uh, I mean, any forward help. Oh, this is not good. Well, yeah, I said we, you make your goal, then screw you. made it to you made it to your 5.8 million screw you now and we can move the player more than one position uh, yeah there's not a win here more room one position there. Well, that's a little more than what we needed, but still, that's okay. There's not really a way, so. Yep, 
break. Pressing. Pressing. Okay, we're, we're not in that bad a shape there. jump but we should try that sometime jump button press jump jump happens and we can move the player now we're taking a bit of a risk here and we're jumping Jumping that much. Nope, we don't want duck, we want hiss and boom. Not good. Yep, let's get a little, maybe some extra blocks to make up for a loss. Probably not. Perfect. We can run away from him. And because he can't even make the speed limit, he's stuck there. But we're getting hit. We need to move the player. We need to jump. Okay, that could have been better. Could have pressed jump and jump could happen. All right, we need to be... Nope, I don't want to do that. In fact, we have clearance, so it wasn't a need to try to break stuff. Okay, move the player. Well, we, that was kind of a good run. Just went a little too far, a little too uh, askew to keep the momentum going. Okay, I see water that way, but... So being able to move a little easier this way, and too far again. Right through the middle. Nice. Man, when the game does well. Give it the credit it needs. Alright, so what are we doing here? Is that a village? using the overly distorted perspective to see, and the answer was no. And jump. <sighs> no way to move here, so break. Let's say we seven Uh 
getting a little closer towards uh, the next 10,000. How about over here? Oh, uh, see, this is what I hate. I hate when we have mountains and we have to go down a mountain to climb a mountain. This is progress killing. And that there is absolutely no way around this. Since progress is completely break, completely dead, and the sun's about to go down, let's move the player a little more. We, okay, we actually did, so yeah, we did what we needed. about this button.
it's doing that to me again. One more. We can get out of this mess. One more. One more. Thank you. Break. Uh, Dave rolled it. I guess if we go a little backwards, of course that was asking for way too much. How about some terrain that's navigable? time we get a little push here. I mean, like I said, the terrain was usually not that bad except for that pair of mountains. But the navigability was a bit less than desirable. All right, we've had mountains that were easy to navigate. We've had hills that were painful.
Well, hey, we made a halfway decent little run. Hey, we're less than a thousand blocks away from hitting the fifteen ten kilometer block. Again, I press jump and you do the jump thing. Pressing. And there's no answer here, so do that. And that's just too early. was the better answer, so that was good, I guess. Are we heading towards water? So I noticed we've been going down a lot. Um, of course it didn't jump. That would be wrong. Jump! Can we move the player? I like it when the player moves. get to the next when we get to the point that we s sleep but get past the 58 10 kilometer block then I'll look at the dryer see how much time is left a little Dave Grohl but that's all right there's a village on the hill we're going to and how about we press the jump button and we jump this is getting old it's literally refusing to jump mm, shall we right, we need to move a little more this way Seems to be okay, just move. Can we move?
Okay, those are projects. We're not going to bother with that. Well, I guess the whole village is a project, so... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Good, we stopped. Getting the water is going to be fun. Ooh, we actually made it. Alright. Also, enough hearts that... I mean, drumsticks. We can get to within one and the... Alright. And the uh, regeneration starts. How about jump? Oh, this, this is getting annoying. Well, we got close. Oh, we made it to the 58 10 kilometer block. I didn't miss it by much. Bridge. Not the coolest thing we've ever gone under, but. That's some of those caves that we went under, and it was pretty neat. It's very rare that they actually can go through them. It's great when you can. Find the chest. Boat up to it. Should be. How about we move the player when we press the buttons? Oh, that struggle was not worth it. that I miss from the pre-mountainous days is the unbroken rivers. They tried, but the old generation that breaks them has returned. That and the floaty island thing. Although some of those are pretty cool to look at. Looks like we have to go this way to avoid the mountains. Or we're going to wind up in a valley in which we're going to have to deal with the mountains.
dressing. Might mean do job. Didn't need to jump there. Actually, we need to back off one. There we go. And we can clear this mountain. And we can clear it by jumping when the jump button is pushing. When the jump button is pressed, jump should happen. That gets old, doesn't it? Imagine how irritating it is every time you press it and nothing happens. Where's this? hearing me complain about it, which I said in the very beginning you're likely to hear. And that's not helping. So we have to go again in a direction that is further somewhat complicating east-west precision. That is completely useless. are finally moving in a direction that'll help the precision error ever so slightly be more tolerable. But once again it comes at the cost of being able to move freely because mountains. Seems to be a lot of time left. I'd like to see the number. One, two, three, four more sleeps. We are not getting to close to that waterfall because it will waterlock the boat and it'll sink. Hop out, up, hop out, up. And move the player. There we go, moving the player. Imagine that. Of course, it would help if jump would do its job. Yep, move player. Still mountains. And I saw that the way on the left was clearer, but this is looks like it's not a bad hill. Perhaps it might even go through. Oh, wishful thinking, because. Once 
once again turn. How about how about up? How about up? Break. Jump, jump. going a little bit a little bit too much of a lateral movement which is why it stopped I right, know a little more how about over here oh yeah then you As long as we're not seeing solid snow blocks, we're good. Because then we'll have to change to the leather pants. Uh oh. Pit bad. No pit good. anyway. Well, whatever. This is not a good spot. Place. Not the correct answer. Break. Wasn't worth the effort. Actually, almost worked. Get it over here because it might be ice we're dealing with underneath the snow.
people out there, but we did. We were able to get in the boat. Okay, that that slowdown actually helped. Well, we kind of. the food. Those are ice spikes. That is not a good thing. As long as we keep moving, which of course didn't happen. Oh, that was a, that was a stutter. Okay, that, okay, we're not going to be able to move there. Player. How about we jump when jump is pressed? Jump! Oh well. Get it back, maybe. We did. jump. Place. Polar bear isn't minding us existing, so how about jump when we press the damn button? Alright, we gotta stop. We gotta place a bed and sleep. That's one, three to go. Place. Jumping. We're jumping. There is enough lifeline there on the food chart to keep health full for a little bit. And uh, twice pressed it, third time ignored it. And I mean, I literally did not move my finger in the least. Oh, oh boy. Uh 
know. Good thing we're in a boat. And we're at 90% on the food bar, which is enough to allow regeneration. Oh, back into warmer climates. Now the big ocean will help. Of course it went regeneration does take uh, energy. Now we're that half drumstick too short. Well, they are talking about possibly another heat wave. For those of us here in New England, so who knows, is it going to be hot enough to not go walking? I don't think that will be the case. I mean, when, I, when it was too hot, we were talking about nearly 100 degrees. For those of you that love the Celsius scale, that's about 37. could hit the 58-20 kilometer block before this episode is over. Putting it at slight, as we have this nice big ocean that's helping us. And we've got three more sleeps to go. So when we have found out how many sleeps we had left. We're now about more than half, we are more than halfway past the, to the next 10,000. In fact, it's almost 4,000 blocks to go. And three sleeps in which to do it. But we know that it's very possible that it'll shove terrain in our faces that'll literally just Every sleep is like a hundred or so blocks apart, which is very annoying. Not fun. Nonetheless, progress. The only good thing, if you want to call it that, because it did happen, is that you die or not terribly far away from where stuff may be recoverable. Usually it's not. And if we get into the high 58, 17 kilometer range, then it's very likely. It's still not 100%. Of course, the best scenario would be that the sun starts to set and there's a gigantic mushroom island, which means we can postpone the night because so long as no, no luscious caves form at the surface, which does happen on those, no monsters can spawn within the chunks of a... Uh, of a um, mushroom island. However, if there, like I said, if there's, especially a plush, a lush cave, anything that is uh, a different biome within, then that's a different story. All right, so we're at three sleeps to go, and we're seventy-two third. So it's a little more probable. I won't say certain. I won't 
I'll say definitively, but the odds are starting to look a lot better that we will get to at least 58 to 1. Which is a pretty nice start. It's not going to happen, but if we've got to fifty, if we got to five million eight hundred nineteen thousand, that still doesn't mean we'll get to fifty-eight twenty. Or fifty-eight nineteen in kilometers. some progress killing. Well, we had a good run going. I'm going to rely on that jump button you like to ignore. Turn. jump button. Right, we're getting close to sleep two of four. That may end up. I mean, it's literally right on the button, and it's not doing it. Break. player. Move the player. Why are we not moving the player? Okay, player can move. I like it when the player moves. You should try that. Sword. Jump. Jump. sleeps to go once we thank you can we move the player is that something we can try two more sleeps check to see if anything bad came to be because sometimes it pressed the luck a little too far junk. This way, less than junk. I see an opening. One jump too many. Here we go. Opening. And go. Seriously? Come on. Press the button. Do the job. Mountains that way, of course. Where the precision's a little better, the mountains exist. And too far. And not jump. That 
that time I actually missed the button, so... Too much too lateral there's a Dave Grohl and went a little too far but that's okay yeah we could climb that okay nope don't want a duck see the village don't want a duck See the village. Failed to make the jump, but at least it did. At least I pressed the button and it did the job. I'll give it that. All right, let's just work our way across here. Yeah, we got a lot of beds we need. Jump. Now we use that. I don't want to waste the sword on breaking beds when the bed will do just as well. Okay, move, jump. There's places I can steal beds from. And move the player. There we go. Oh, this is a useless building. I failed to note the chimney over there. That's an indication of the building being useless. And one more bed to steal. And move the player. press the magic jump button, we should be jumping. How many times have we heard that one today? I mean, some of the jumps I intentionally, oh, don't want to look at the Endermen. Bad things happen. Okay, jump. why I just let it fall down sometimes because it's just enough to not be able to make it. Ooh, leap of faith there. Might have been a safe leap, but not sure.
get them that way. Well, we're gonna make it. Yeah, I shouldn't really say that because it could be throwing massive mountains in the way. And like I said, the 58, 19 and change doesn't mean anything when that happens. Should we go? Isn't it insane how much faster we go east and west because the precision is so shot versus north south? to jump when the jump button's pressed. Be nice if I jumped if the jump button's pressed. Move the player. Come on, we were doing somewhat decent. Uh, oh. Yep, something move. There we go. Do we want to go that way? I guess because that's water, but does it keep going. Oh, that was sudden. It's one time the uncontrollable automatic jump and move on its own is kind of a bad thing. We made it to 5820. That is a nice chunk of change for what little time we have. This, this is typically the time that I have. And I know that I bore people by repeating the same story over again, is that people actually wonder why do I do this while I'm doing my laundry. I could just let the laundry do its thing and could do this in any moment. Well, this all started when I was with apartment life and having to go to a laundromat. And this was the thing I did to kill time. It was up to this show a couple of years ago. rainy days at work and the laundromat is usually where most of this stuff was done. I mean, not always. Sometimes family gatherings where I can shut the mic off and not capture my family, which wants absolutely nothing to do with these videos. So my father goes along with the bowling stuff. He doesn't have an issue with that or being in other stuff. Not that I... Eh. Whatever. 
it's funny that my sister wants nothing to do with my channel, but when she does her uh, TikTok thing and wants everybody in it, personally, I don't care. I don't mean that, hey, extra exposure, which might actually help the channel anyway. That barely gets any views, because I just do what I do and let things happen organically, I'm not sucking up to trends. I did that once before and lost quite a bit of money on that. And it not only failed, it was practically my least watched videos of all time. So I just do what I do and if it works, great, if not, whatever. I actually did it twice. The first was when Cube World was big. That got poor viewer, viewership. Then when Cuphead was big, I decided, what the heck, let's give that a shot. That was the most abysmal view counts ever. I'd be lucky if I got 20 views on a video. So, if, as YouTube tries to help people with their channel, their suggestion is follow the trends. Yeah, I follow the trends and not only do the videos go way down in views, I lose quite a bit of money in that. Sunk a lot. <laughs> But the game, Cuphead was like... $35 bucks and the viewership was so... was so down in the garbage heap that... Yep, that actually lost money. I did not recoup the $35 from the Cuphead videos at all. So I'm not chasing after trends, I'm just going a game that I think I might like and then, hey, it just happens to be Minecraft's one of the more popular games. But I honestly like it and, like I said, I gotta get back in the uh, 50th birthday world thing because I only think I've only done one video on it after the actual 50th birthday occurred. It was a video then, and then one video before it turned 51. And I haven't done anything on it since. Well, video-wise, I haven't. But I, I'm thinking of I got mega projects that are on there. I'm trying to get to a point like I'm building an airport I'm trying to make it safe so when it's dark nothing happens I want it so that the whole thing outside the buildings and the runways are, and the taxiways are lit so I'm covering the whole thing in covering the whole thing in uh, moss carpet and generating moss blocks quite the difficult task and I don't like how this is going and I have a feeling I don't have a way around it Yeah, point in the direction I'm going in, that helps. We're gonna go off axis again. Try to avoid the mountain. And it means the slight precision error that seems so minuscule on the Z axis is enough to aggravate the X axis. That 
might not have been too bad of a thing. Not a bad thing there. Hate if everything would be like that though. Alexa bar keeps popping up. Don't know why. Not saying it. Not triggering it. I think it listens to the game and it somehow keeps thinking it's saying Alexa. with that blue line that you don't see it in this video but on my screen is a blue line that uh, appears and it the hot spot goes up and down the screen or left to right in vertical mode wow I am surprised I'm being allowed to get this far Wow, that was a lot of mountains and a lot of egress. That was impressive. There's the sun and there's one more sleep. Surprise, surprise. One more sleep after that touches that. I believe I got the count correct. Yes, I do. Actually, no, I don't. This is the end. 5,825,151. Uh, I lost count somehow. Anyway, this is one way. Georgia551 saying, hope you enjoyed and have a good one.